Is it okay to kill off the main character in your book? I'm going to tell you what I think coming up. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Tim Knox here, hoping uh, that I can help you become a better writer today. And uh, as always, the question for today's show came through the comments below. And if you have a question or a comment, leave it down there. And if I use your question or comment on a program, you will get a free digital copy of one of my books, Angel of Mercy or Sins of the Father. Also, don't forget, if you like what I do here on this channel, and God forbid you don't, uh, hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell no icon. You'll be notified every time I do a video. And uh, again, give me a little thumbs up. I love my thumbs up. The question today comes from Sam. Sam says, Tim, is it okay? I've got my notes here, you see. Uh, is it okay to kill the main character in my book? Uh, what a great question, Sam, and one that I can answer with three words. You ready? Game of Thrones. Now, the reason I say Game of Thrones, if you are a fan of the TV show, you might remember that Ned Stark, who was the hero of the first season, everybody loved them some Ned Stark. Well, Ned was beheaded on the season finale, the last show. They cut his head off. I'm pretty sure that was the end of Ned. So, what a great question. Is it okay to kill off a main character in the book? Well, the answer is yes, it is okay. There's another example. Uh, if you ever watch an old Disney movie, you ever notice in uh, like the Lion King and Bambi and Dumbo and all those other, the parents had to die. I mean, usually they only had one parent anyway, and then, then they had to die. Bambi's mom shot by a freaking hunter. Uh, Simba's dad pushed off the cliff by his brother. I mean, anyway, I digress. So if it's okay for Disney to do it, hell yeah, it's okay, Sam, as long as as it is relevant to the story. Ah, there's the key, Sam. If you're wanting to kill your main character just for shock value, which I see happen sometimes, not a big fan of that tactic. Not a big fan at all. But if the hero must die to further the story or build the, the tension or build the overarching plot, it's all right to kill him off. Now, if you're going to do that, you don't want to do it you know, too early in the book, because otherwise he's not a main character. You want to give him some time to, or her, you want to give them some time to establish themselves before you put them in danger. Now, one thing that I like to do, whether I'm killing off a main character or not, is really use that uh, to build the tension. You know, you're not going to say Joe was walking down the street and he was hit by a car. End of chapter. You want to build that tension. You've got to use something like the death of a main character to really build the tension, to build the plot, to build the drama. And again, it has to make a difference to the story. If you look at Game of Thrones, as well as the Disney movies, when the patriarch or the matriarch of the family dies and leaves the children or, you know, the other folks, well, then the story suddenly becomes them. And if you've watched Game of Thrones, you know the lifespan on that freaking show is a couple of episodes if you're lucky. So don't get too attached. Remember the the red wedding scene? Who the, who the heck saw that coming? I didn't. It's amazing. So yeah, it's okay to kill a main character, but again, only if it helps the story along. And if a character is there simply to die... Again, that's okay too, but you've got to make sure that you have built that character up enough to be a sympathetic character, a character people feel about or, or care about, because if they don't care about him when he's alive, they're not going to give a crap when he's dead. So yes, yeah, Sam, it is okay. Just make sure that it is part of, an, of a longer story arc. Make sure that the death is an integral part of the story. The death has to affect the other characters. It has to affect the, the plot line, what happens. Otherwise, he died in vain. And Mike, we don't want that to happen. Ned Stark did not die in vain. Simba's dad did not die in vain. Bambi's mom did not die in vain. 
Anyway, Mike or Sam, whoever the hell you are. Hey, thanks for that question. It really is a good one and one that uh, you, you really should take to heart because it's a, it's a great element killing off the main characters. But again, just make sure it makes sense. Make sure you're doing it to enhance the story, build the other characters. You're not doing it for shock value because then, Sam, people will not be shocked. They'll just be ticked off. So, all right, Sam, I hope that was helpful. Hey, if you have a question or comment, drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget also to subscribe, ring the bell, make the little bell notification daily, and uh, give us a thumbs up. And we hope, I hope, sometimes I say we, it's almost like the voices in my head are, yeah, I know are taking over. It's kind of scary. So I hope that was helpful. Hey, get out there and write something. Again, as always, the whole point of this nonsense is to help you become a better writer. Try to stay alive, Sam. We'd hate to lose you. Otherwise, go kill somebody. I mean, a character in your book, Sam. Jesus. Jesus.